Uh, in this activity, we're going to make a straw kazoo just to demonstrate what a straw kazoo is like. We're just going to. And you can see it makes quite a, a distinct noise. Uh, and to do this, you're going to need um, two straws, uh, two plastic straws. Uh, now, you can make it with paper straws, um, but you will need a little bit of plastic for the end of it. So if you want to use paper straws, you can do that. But you'll still need to, to do the end of it in uh, a plastic straw. And then a little bit of sellotape and a scissors. Now, to make it, what you do is you take the straw and you put it in your teeth and you chew it. And what I want to do is you want to flatten the end of it um, just about that amount, about one inch. Uh, piece and then you're going to get a scissors and you're going to cut two uh, small triangles off the end and uh, try and keep them as even as possible and then give it a squeeze so that it opens up now what you have is two pieces of plastic that when you blow through them uh, they're going to make a uh, that sound <laughs> now um, the one the, the one thing about it is is the first time you try this there are a few things um, that can go wrong. Uh, what happens is that as people chew it, they chew it for too long and then this thing is, is bent all around and that uh, doesn't work quite well. Plus, uh, some people cut this side really sharp and this side narrow uh, and that can also cause problems. Uh, the other thing is that if it definitely is the first time you're going to try this, um, you might want to get as wide a straw as possible. It makes it a little bit easier the wider the straw is. Bendy straws work fine um, if the, the bend doesn't actually cause it any problem. The other thing is uh, if you're a young person trying this um, and you want to show your parents this experiment is absolutely fine but please don't play it for them too long because this is a really annoying sound and if you're a teacher you might give that uh, a warning to your students as well so there's lo loads of different variations you can do with this uh, one of the things you could do is you could take it and um, cut it and you can see how the, the, the sound changes so <laughs> So as you can see, uh, as the uh, straw kazoo got smaller, it actually went up in pitch, so it got higher in pitch. Um, the other thing you can do as well is um, if you have a... Alaric, move on, good on you. Another thing you can do uh, with the straw kazoo is that uh, once you've made one, uh, you can extend it. So if you've, so what I've done here is I've taken a, a kazoo, I've just um, sellotaped on another um, straw. I've also actually put on a third one. You can put on as many as you like, but um, I would say beyond three, it, it's very hard to blow. Uh, so I'm going to show you that the sound is much lower as we got as we cut it. It got higher, and when you we can make it longer. <laughs> you can see it gets much lower. So it's a great way to demonstrate uh, how to make musical instruments. Once again, you can cut this now from that length down to the very short, and it demonstrates nicely how the uh, sound gets higher and higher as it goes, gets smaller and smaller. Another variation you can do with the kazoo is, um, once you've made the kazoo, um, you can make holes in it. Um, now, for this, we're going to use a scissors, but if you had a punch for making holes in paper you could um, use that as well and uh, now you don't want to chop through the whole thing you just want to chop through half it so i'm going to make two uh, holes in this and i'm just going to use a, a, um, a scissors now what you want to do is wherever you want to make the hole you cut um, halfway through the straw at an angle and then you do the same halfway through a straw uh, so that it makes a diamond shape once it makes a diamond shape you pull it out you've made one hole, so you can put your finger over it. Now I've made one <coughs> earlier, and just to show you, uh, there you can see that the two holes are a good distance apart, uh, and they're kind of like diamond shape. So now when you put your two fingers over them, and when you blow, this is what happens when both fingers are over both. And now when you take a finger off, So if you were accurate enough, you could actually uh, play a song using this instrument, but you'd have to tune it up.